The Life and Sad Ending of Jim Bacchus James Gilmore Bacchus was born February 25, 1913, in Cleveland, Ohio, and raised in Bratanal, Ohio, a wealthy village surrounded by Greater Cleveland. He was the son of Russell Gould Bacchus and Daisy Taylor Bacchus. He was of Lebanese background. He attended Shaw High School in East Cleveland, Ohio. Bacchus studied at Shaw High School in East Cleveland. He attended Kentucky Military Institute, where he became friends with Victor Mature, who too would become a professional actor. Bacchus was more interested in acting and playing golf than attending classes. Hence, he convinced his father to allow him to attend American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York City. After relocating to New York City, he started working as a radio announcer to support himself. In 1940, Bacchus started playing Dexter Hayes on the CBS radio show Society Girl. Thereafter, he voiced Hartley Benson in the radio situation comedy The Mel Blanc Show. He also lent his voice for various post-war era radio programs, such as the popular comedy show The Back Jack Benny Program. He hosted his short-lived variety program The Jim Bacchus Show, which was broadcast on the ABC radio network. Then he got his start in his film career as a voice actor in movies like Where Will You Hide and A Lad in His Lamp. He got the opportunity to lend his voice to the wealthy, short-statured, and nearsighted fictional cartoon character Mr. Magoo in the short comedy film Ragtime Bear in 1949. Though his role went uncredited, he went on to reprise the role of Mr. Magoo many times and in films and television shows. Mr. Magoo eventually became his signature role, and his performance increased his popularity as a voice actor. Bacchus voiced Mr. Magoo in several films like Trouble Indemnity in 1950, Grizzly Golfer 1951, Magoo's Masterpiece 1953, when Magoo Flew, 1955, Magoo's Puddle Jumper, 1956, and Inside Magoo, 1960. Bacchus is also known for another iconic character named Thurston Howell III. Bacchus first played the character in the sitcom Gilligan's Island, which aired on CBS for three seasons from September 26, 1964 to April 17, 1967. This is the greatest success in his career. The mannerisms of Thurston Howell III were based on a character of a wealthy and snobbish playboy named Hubert Updike III. Bacchus had voiced Hubert in the radio version of The Alan Young Show, which was aired on NBC Radio in 1949. His portrayal of wealthy men in various series and films made him a typecast, but he broke his stereotypical on-screen image by playing Frank Stark, father of James Dean's character in the American drama film Rebel Without a Cause in 1955. In 1963, Bacchus appeared in the comedy film It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, in which he played Tyler Fitzgerald, another character based on Hubert's characterization. In the next years, he reprised the role of Thurston Howell III in many television movies, such as Rescue from Gilligan's Island in 1978 and The Castaways on Gilligan's Island in 1979. By his third and final film, The Harlem Globetrotters on Gilligan's Island, 1981, Bacchus was suffering from Parkinson's disease, and his participation was limited to a cameo appearance. Bacchus also returned as the voice of Mr. Magoo in various revivals between 1964 and 1977, which included The Famous Adventures of Mr. Magoo and What's New, Mr. Magoo. In 1977, Bacchus appeared in Never Con a Killer, the pilot for the ABC crime drama The Feather and Father Gang. In his personal life, Bacchus was married to actress Betty Keane from 1939 to 1942. After divorcing Keane, he married Henry, Henny Bacchus on January 14, 1943. Bacchus and his wife, Henny, co-wrote several humorous books, including Only When I Laugh, his autobiography, Bacchus Strikes Back, a memoir, Forgive Our Digression, an autobiography, and what are you doing after the orgy?
He also co-wrote the 1971 family film Mooch Goes to Hollywood about a dog that tries to become a movie star. And sadly, on July 3, 1989, Bacchus died in Los Angeles from complications of pneumonia after suffering from Parkinson's disease for many years. He was 76 years old. He was buried at the southwest corner of Westwood Village Memorial Park Cemetery in Westwood, Los Angeles.